Friends, welcome to another episode of the vlog on Spindat featuring this thing. Now, since the last dedicated upload featuring the Ride One Up Rev One, I have changed two things. Number one being this RockShox plastic fender that's supposed to be on my RockShox Revelation. And one more thing, software related that you can't see unlocking the off-road mode of this thing. See how it says off-road? That means off-road. It's faster now, it basically goes faster. I think it unlocks it to like 32 or 36 miles. I could probably have looked it up, but I didn't. Anyway, it's faster now. And I think it's pretty obvious where this is going. We're gonna go play with it. Okay. Though, unlike every other video using these moped style e-bikes, we're actually going to truly ride off-road on four-wheeler trails and some enduro moto single track. Not just the generic dirt road high speed test that everybody else does. These bikes are way more fun than just top speed runs and not enough people are showing it. Having learned some lessons from the last ride, I decided to be a bit more sensible with my range and left the Rev1 in pedal assist one to get to the trailhead, ensuring I had as much range as possible when I got in there. It's not fast like this motorcycle, but it does get you there. Construction here. Better. Now, I took a second to look up if unlocking off road mode does anything for increasing torque but it only mentions that it gives you the more like higher mile per hour. But I don't know, the front end of this thing keeps kind of coming up on me when I'm not ready for it, like there. This thing, even though it's the hardtail, still super fun on like single track like this. And off-road mode, I don't know, I'm pretty sure there's more torque. Maybe there isn't. <laughs> I keep going into the willy wags. A bunch of my buddies have like enduro motocross bikes or four wheelers, even on the road, they just have like Harleys. My motorcycle doesn't work, hasn't worked in three years or so. And motorbikes are like kind of expensive. So this thing fills the void really, really well when they're all posting these like fun videos on trips or uh, out in the woods riding theirs. So I get to kind of do it on this. We're gonna go to some single track up here that's gonna bring us somewhere kind of wet. I'm thinking it might have dried up a little bit by now. We might be able to get all the way through. Now this little descent is like not long by any stretch of the imagination, but it's fun because it's got a bunch of switchbacks and a couple little fast sections right up at the top. It's just I don't know where I'm going. This rock section here. Yeah. Oh. Right. Left. 
sharp left here around this. Good. Have to use the throttle much. Throttle out of that. And that's it. super wet down here. Hopefully you can hear what I was saying. Oh, my shoe! <laughs> okay, a couple quick thoughts after that deep water crossing. One, off-road mode on the Rev 1. Absolutely sick. Definitely recommend doing the unlock on your Rev 1 if you get one. Two, I think I'm getting burnt. That sucks. I put sunscreen on. I didn't put enough on. It's gonna hurt. Three, the hardtail is pretty good. Like the hardtail, it, it is fine. Um, but I think for the stuff I keep riding, it would be nice to just have that rear suspension a little bit. The extra cost would probably be worth it. So if you're if you're looking to use a Rev1 on this type of things, uh, maybe spring for the uh, for the full suspension version. You'll be able to do all of this. I'm doing it right now, but uh, it I think it would save feet blowing off the pedals sometimes, and maybe like the big hits on the rocks uh, won't go like right up into your spine. Though I'm grateful that I have this, so I'm, I'm loving it. I'm still gonna ride it, obviously. The last ride we did with this on the channel, it was 22 kilometers and it was dead. When I got home, it was completely dead. I'm about half that distance now, and I still have full battery. So I think I've just learned how to be a little bit more deliberate with the power by pedaling here and just knowing when to really full throttle it and, and when it's not worth it. Okay, keep going. Okay, that kind of just like uh, brings us, well, it just sort of brings us to the end of this video. I do really appreciate the way you guys hang out with me the way you do. It's really, really great. To close out, other changes that I think need to be made on this, I'm thinking about removing the kickstand. It is the noisiest part of this. Also the rear fender. Rear fender and kickstand could come off and it'd be super quiet on the trails so there wouldn't be like the rattling around. I maybe want to do a fork. Okay. We're probably gonna go mountain biking in the next video and then we'll do something in the video after, I don't know, something else.